Tonight, there are calls for a special prosecutor to investigate former Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin. He left office this week after losing his bid for re-election, but not before handing out hundreds of pardons and reduced sentences, including some for convicted killers. Tonight, Ed O'Keefe reports on the growing controversy. In his final 35 days in office, Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin issued a stunning 660 pardons and commutations, many to individuals convicted of heinous crimes, one a child rapist, another who killed his parents. But one man, Patrick Brian Baker, convicted in 2017 of murder and pardoned one week ago, is drawing extra attention because of his family's ties to the governor. Baker's brother and sister-in-law hosted a fundraiser for Bevin last year, helping him raise $21,000. Bevin didn't pardon two other men involved in the crime, only Baker, calling the evidence against him sketchy at best. But the judge and prosecutor in the case said the evidence was overwhelming. My first thought was disbelief um, that this could possibly happen. Baker had served only two years of a 19-year sentence. The victim's sister slammed the governor. I know he's our office, but he can rot in hell. That's exactly how we feel about him. Bevin said any suggestion that financial contributions played a role are both highly offensive and entirely false. But Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, campaigning back home in Kentucky, called Bevin's pardons completely inappropriate. I expect he had the power to do it, uh, but looking at the examples of people who are incarcerated as a result of heinous crimes, no, I don't approve of it. Kentucky lawmakers are now calling for an investigation specifically into the pardon of that murderer, Patrick Brian Baker, Nora. What a story, Ed. Thank you.